morning. God bless everybody. It's 8.09, the 15th of February, Monday. Well, we were supposed to have gotten snow and woke up. All we had was ice. <coughs> I got the ice off everything and it's pretty cold. And uh, anyhow, I'm going down. I'm just going to look up so many verses keep it as simple as I can keep this to give to certain people um, I don't know what else to do really telling anybody anything it's scripture all over the band I wear it and uh, only thing I can think of is putting on the scripture on some paper where it says Jesus said uh, destroy this temple and in three days I will rate I will build it again raise it again and where they say it took 46 years to build this temple and then look up the scripture where it says what know you not that your body is the temple of the Lord and uh, then look up another scripture that says know you not he that violates that temple God will destroy and uh, then uh, try to get them to see you know, where in 1956 they discovered our body has 46 chromosomes. And then look up the scripture that says uh, God creates everything that there is that's seen and unseen. And he creates plagues, disease, pestilence. I mean, there, there's certain things. It's just so simple to understand that everything that you're seeing and everything that you're going through, it's a test to see whether you believe or not and uh, and you know then we got the parables I'm not going to even write all that down but the parables that tell you why they can't see you know we're going to put our email on the bottom and anybody that wants to contact us for more you know bible studies we'll be happy to do that with people but uh you can go sit in a church, man. They're not going to give you two minutes to talk to nobody about nothing. They're going to tell you to sit down and listen to their message. And, uh, all while they're saluting their flags and teaching their children to, to salute a flag, you know? In the midst of all this. And people are blinded, and it's because of the world. Just what the parables say, you know? Because of the cares and the pleasures of this life. And believe it or not, that flag is one of them. If you, if you got a thing in your heart, if it's in your heart about that flag, then that is, you know, the Satan's got a hold of you. It's that simple. You got to love the Lord your God with all your soul, all your might, all your being. You got to love him above everything. You know, and if I, and if you could get offended over that flag, guess what? It's not on your. It's not the first thing on your list is the Lord, because if it was, you wouldn't get. You wouldn't even be moved by it. And then there's that scripture that says uh, they deliver their children up to be uh, the blood of their children. On what? There's only one thing I can think of that they deliver their children up, and that's the flag. You know, pretty much we're at a loss here. You know, at a loss. Don't know what else to say to anybody, you know? And a lot of people, they won't even take time to read it. I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible. You know? Been here two years, man. We've given our number and our email out to a lot of people. Nobody calls and contacts, you know? Oh, if I get time, oh, I'm busy, you know? And then when you do talk to somebody, they get offended because of this world and the things that are in it. Anyhow, you guys, I'm gonna load this one up first that I've got to, I'm gonna, while I look up some of this information, and then I'll have a, another video behind it, okay? God bless you guys. I hope and pray everybody here receives a message from this. Be strong, be bold. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, all who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved.